Ok, dear volunteers, thank you so much for helping us. Ok, so number one, for polar deserts, people that already live close to them will plant the best as possible while they are there, right? Ok, while they're cleaning up their cities, they plant, plant, so we're going to send the most as possible to polar areas first. Trees that can grow, of course, you know, evergreens and things that can grow there. And, um, and as they start cleaning up the cities, whichever, if it, they have one month, two or six months, right? Or eight months to finish all, um, that's the time they have to plant water care for those trees and no more will be taken care of. All right, so now number two. Update number two is for hot deserts um, in the tropical and subtropical areas. Okay, so we have a few things to say. Instead of having one community, we're going to have those communities all in lines, right? Horizontal lines. And instead of having them for every 10 or 20 kilometers, we're going to have them every... Four kilometers or so, right? So we can really touch each other. We are going to have less people living there, right? Uh, so they have to plant in everything because four kilometers, people can walk that distance, right? And they can walk up to two kilometers a day. And the tractor, the helping tractor that each community will help, can do the surrounding, right? I think that's a great idea. Okay, so yeah, let's do that uh, four or eight kilometers, every four or eight kilometers. All right, let's see first how many people, right? Because we're gonna have four billion people living at the deserts while we build the beach, right? We need that anyways for 10 years because we don't have all those houses for everyone yet, right? So. Let's plant in the desert while we wait all the constructions at the beaches to be ready. The other thing is that we're not planting fruits or nuts or anything that would give edible seeds or cotton, right? Because we don't want people to be living at the deserts afterwards, right? We don't want people to live the beach areas to go and have native tribes again. We don't want that to happen. So, with that in mind, we are not going to plant fruit trees anymore, right? Even those that can strive in the desert and um, fruits, nuts, um, even we're not planting coconut because we don't want people to be living there. Okay, my friends, because we need to do everything safe for future years, centuries, and millenniums, right? So, let's do everything very well organized, the best as possible. The other thing is that we are going to, on the map, we are going to, the, the, the trains are going to go straight. They go, come back, go, come back, right? As I show you the map already, right? But for a few streams, right, for the irrigation, going to go close by, you know, um, so we can have water along the time. And we are going to show nothing with concrete, right, it's just for this beginning. And we are going to leave some solar panel there, right, for the water to keep coming, right, and for along the centuries, right? So we are going to leave solar panel at these water wells to bring the water up along the decades because we are going to stay the desert only for 20 years. But the water, you know, needs to keep taking care of the plants. And in the future, oh, Sahara going to be like Amazon, right? And um, Arizona and California, all those small deserts, they're going to be like East Coast. Because if we can do it one side, we can do it on the other side. 
right? It's the same zone, the same type of plants. We're just going to have those forests, and after that, the environment is going to take care of itself and have rain falling. And for those very small streams, right, I'm going to uh, show you the map afterwards. We are going to do um, like a, a gravel with some cement, right? So they will last for maybe 40, 80 years, right? Not thick concrete, but for them to flow round this way, that way, right? In a way that we can, um, the water can still coming up. And I think that will be a real great gift. The other thing that around the trees that are ready to go to the desert and they will already be like one meter tall, right? We're going to plant some seeds, right? But we're also going to plant already some trees that like a meter tall. Okay, so for all those trees, we are going to have around a cardboard to protect the bark, right? With maybe some cotton at the bottom, all the way on the bottom, maybe up to 10 centimeters or so right uh, so not too high because then they can keep humidity there and protect against um, the wind against anything so very small cardboard uh, around those bark and then eventually they're gonna grow and the the cardboard gonna rip right uh, it's just for this first uh, weeks right for them to have that protection of a little humidity there and the other thing we can do for all these trees that we are going to plant ready, right, about one meter high, we can, because the train is going to pass, that's about two meters high, and then they can do a little more, right? Uh, maybe um, two and a half or maybe even four meters high because the wagons are quite high. I think we can do that with those sprinklers, these long sprinklers, right? Okay, we can put some kind of fabric on the root bulb, right? Something like that, because that may be also going to retain moisture, right? So the bulb, the root bulb that will be wrapped maybe in, a, in this um, fabric, uh, wrapping right and will come with some type of material around that we already uh, retain moisture right and the best as possible um, quality of soil right okay so first we're going to bring some with the with the trains right and the community is going to be planting them for 20 years more and more and more so the communities, gonna, the villages, going to be planting for themselves, for those big rings, and also for the train. So when the train stops by the water wells, right, so they will already pick up the, the wagons with field of water ready that they did the day before, right, two or four right two let's do two so they leave two pick up two leave two pick up two i think that would be really great so they have two so some trains always going to stop at the even communities and some always going to stop at the odd community so they will have a lot of water from one community to another really great all right let's do it my friends let's get ready then we we'll see you soon yeah, let's do an improvement here. Let's do every eight kilometers, okay, from one village to another village. Okay, so people can only plant food and cotton inside the village. It's forbidden to bring food out. So, no corn, nothing, nothing that uh, because it might leave... Um, seeds we don't want to do that leave any seed outside and also no 
tubers, right? So inside it's okay because then we harvest really well. Everything going to be planted in pots, but not outside. The other thing, those lines, when I said that they go until the beach or until the city that's waiting for them, right? Because we already have all the cities anyways, right? So, in case for desert that doesn't go all the way, such as the California desert, right? We're going to establish just the villages, keep going, keep going, right? And one of those villages are the ones they have the complete checkout. It's not a beach because they're not going from California. They're not going all the way until Georgia, right? So they're going to, at the end of the desert, one of those villages will be the special one that's going to check them out. And wash them entirely when it's needed, right? Depending how much they travel, right? To be really clean, really neat, you know, and inspected. So we're going to have those families as well along the years. Yes, we have to. But with proper check, checking in time, right? And uh, for them to do those, those lanes. Uh, maybe up to, I don't know, up to two or... 10 years, right, for the train, no, two is too little, we have to do up to 10 years for the train to keep watering those long lines, okay, all right, let's get ready, everyone, and we see you soon.